His job, lead at Empower High School girls on the basketball court. Instead, he was in court tonight. Police say coach Kyler Ashley was sexually abusing some of his players from Dobson High School in Mesa. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez joining us live and Nicole, an elaborate scheme to catch this coach. Well, Katie, Steve, it was only after a 16 year old told her school resource officer actually was texting her through Snapchat. Now, police actually used this app to bait him, telling that teen exactly what to write and where she would meet him. But police showed up instead. A coach isn't supposed to be doing that with his players. It's the talk of the school just days before graduation. Charbel Badel, a senior at Dobson High School, says both teachers and students were pretty visibly upset after hearing details behind JV basketball coach Kyler Ashley's arrest. It's weird because, like, when you think of a school, you think of, like, teachers supposed to be, like, caring and respecting the students, but... That teacher didn't, and it kind of just shows you can't really judge a book by its cover. The 23-year-old accused of trying to get a 16-year-old on the team to have a sexual encounter with him. That plan failed, but after police got him in cuffs, he apparently admitted to a whole lot more. Ashley telling Mesa cops he'd already had sex with one 17-year-old at least three times late last year and was involved with another player as well. They met up at least five times. Court documents say Ashley drove the two home from practice on several separate occasions, but he'd stop the car in places like nearby parking lots and alleyways and have his way. In at least one instance, police say Ashley had his one-year-old son in the back seat. Badel says the entire JV team was escorted into a private meeting today to hear Ashley's no longer a part of the team. I definitely think they were impacted because like a coach they looked up to and players respect their coaches, but he lost all respect doing this and it's just not right. Now, Ashley's still behind bars tonight. The school district telling us he only worked as a seasonal coach for the school and he will not be returning next year. Live in Tempe tonight, Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.